Okay, so uh, I purchased this little um, rig off of Amazon, guys. It cost me six dollars and change uh, plus tax. Let's call it eight dollars Canadian. Like Denny says, no even real money. And uh, what it basically is is a little um, uh, signal generator. But the difference is uh, this, as it says, high power. Uh, PWM driver actually has a MOSFET inside so you can generate a frequency that's on a particular pulse width modulation or duty cycle and you can actually have uh, some pretty significant current up to um, 8 amps it claims right god knows what the actual figure is but it's enough that I can drive an oil control valve or a variable displacement compressor control valve a linear spool valve if you will right which is uh, a duty cycle controlled um, there are some fancy tools out there guys that cost one damn sight more than eight dollars in order to do the exact same thing so um, you're not going to be able to see the uh, spool all I can show you is the bias spring on the end here so the spool is all the way displaced to the right um, in our setup at the moment and you can see I'm on 14 volt supply all this is is a, a 14 volt supply positive and negative of course and it's PWM positive and negative uh, as well. This is pulse width uh, modulated duty cycle, positive duty cycle. So at the moment it's zero. So effectively, uh, makes sense we have no current, right? So this bull is um, just reacting to the bias spring here, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ramp up the, uh, the uh, duty cycle here. And you can see I'm at 20% here now. Um, you wouldn't have seen anything happen there anyway because I've noticed for the first 20% nothing really happens because as you can imagine guys this spool uh, against the bias spring is going to take a certain amount of magnetic um, um, the coil has to build a magnetic field in order to come overcome the inertia of the spool itself and the bias spring yeah so for the first 20% take my word for it nothing actually happens but let me ramp you up now to 8% Can you see it actually moving there? It's pretty tricky to see. All you can really see is the bias spring there, guys, actually getting compressed. But it is getting compressed in a linear fashion. I can stop it anywhere. It's just a wee bit of movement. There's maybe an eighth of an inch movement total. Maybe an eighth of an inch. In fact, let me just show you, I can toggle this between, this is 100% duty cycle. Between the 80% and 100%, again, you're kind of already maxed out. I think the core is basically saturated and nothing much else happens. Again, keep in mind, this is with this particular test rig I'm using, right? Let me just go full travel here so you can show. There's the full travel. So I'm toggling from 0% to full. Again, let me ramp down to zero. You'll see this bill actually moving in a linear fashion. Yeah, nice. This works exactly like I'd hoped it would work. Servo valve used to do this kind of functioning in the past, guys, but in an automotive modern automotive application, more and more stuff is a, a solenoid valve, which is duty cycle controlled, right? So this little rig here, again, cost me eight bucks. You know, maybe I found it on sale on Amazon or whatever, but it's very little money, very little money, and you can actually effectively test these um, these solenoid valves. There's another wee mode on it. Let me see. I've I just got this thing at the package here, guys. So I don't really know. But let me try and toggle any of the other mode. Yeah. So here's a mode here. You can see it will actually toggle at a certain frequency and at a certain rate here. So if you wanted to, if you thought it was kind of you know acting up. You could cycle this for a long time and see how it works. You can see the current that it's actually drawing there. If you thought it was going to seize in the bore or something. So it's quite a useful little rig. Let me, let me change that back. Because I, honestly, I don't really know what the settings are there other than the frequency. And I don't know what the... I don't know what the, the second number is. I haven't even read the manual for it, to be quite honest. Because it doesn't come with a manual, as you can imagine now. Uh, some of these modern products but in any case um i'm really happy with this eight dollars and you can control the spill valve in a linear man manner anywhere you want stop it anywhere you want 
that's uh that's the ideal rig for what i wanted for testing purposes anyway just an initial look guys we'll look at this deeper that's it cheers